Say yes. Say yes every time you have an opportunity. Say yes when we say, do you want to get involved? Good morning, everyone. Uh, you're watching Campus France Live. Thanks a lot to be there with us. Today, we're going to talk about higher education in France and to discover a SCA, a business school, a French business school, and to talk more about the Bachelor in International Management in Budapest and in France. To talk and discover SCA, I'm very pleased to welcome you, Alexandre Tremblay. Hello. Hello, it's a great pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for inviting me. That's a pleasure too. You're the Bachelor Project Manager. We are also with Joja Deligré. Hello. Good morning, very nice to meet you. Thank you very much for inviting me. Nice to meet you too. You're the Budapest Campus Director and we are also with two students, one in Paris, Luca Tausven. Hello, Luca. Hello, nice to be here. Nice to meet you too. And we're also with Fanny Oswat. Hello, Fanny. Hello, also nice to meet you. Thanks a lot to be there with us. You can ask all the questions that you have about the Bachelor in Management at ESCA. And we're going to begin uh, with uh, you, Joja. Can you, uh, first of all, introduce yourself in a few words? Of course. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Joja Dali Gray. Um, I'm the director of the Budapest campus of the ESCA School of Management and professor of International Marketing and Logistics Management. And what is ESCA? Can you present your institution? Sure. Uh, so the ESCA School of Management has been founded in 1909 uh, and at the moment is located in uh, three different countries. We have uh, six campuses in France, we have one campus in Shanghai and one campus in Budapest. Uh, this is a, a, a triple crown French business school and if I wish to describe uh, our school, I would go back to the mission of uh, the mission sheet, the mission of our school, which describes that uh, uh, ESCA tries to and does create knowledge and develop responsible managers and entrepreneurs while fully considering the human, the ethical and the economical dimensions of the organizations in a multicultural context, which is driven by technology and social innovations. Uh, it means that uh, in the different classes that uh, you offer, there is always this uh, human uh, view, human uh, way of thinking about the, the projects. We always take humanism uh, first, and this is in the heart of all of our activities. Uh, Alexandre, can you introduce yourself in a few words too? Very well. Bachelor Product Manager at ESCA, uh, more precisely on the Aix-en-Provence campus. And I'm currently especially working for the recruitment of our students, both on a national and international scale. And what is a bachelor and why should applicants choose rather than other degrees? It's a very interesting question. Uh, you choose a bachelor's program because it is a three years program. It's a short program in which you're going to get a powerful set of tools uh, that are transferable, leadership skills, and key competencies that will just enable you to go to that international job market with the right, with the right competencies, the right skills in order to, to, to be uh, maybe more competitive towards others. Uh, it's also one of the main objectives is, is definitely to go on these key global skills. Now, you want to be relevant. You want to have these highly sought after uh, management skills, but also offer a wide range of knowledge for these international careers. And how long uh, does a um, bachelor last? Now, three years. And in these three years, it's quite short. Again, uh, we'll go through three different segments. Now, the first segment being um, the fundamentals in management. That's the first year. This is what's going to happen. Now, you're going to go through marketing, you're going to go through communication, you're going to go through uh, business laws, uh, corporate laws, uh, and all these First drafted, there's no preparation. You're, you're going to what they call in French a post to back. So you're going straight forward and in depth with these uh, management uh, classes that you'll be able to have. So that's the first year uh, at ESCA in the bachelor's program. Now, the second year, again, we don't have a lot of time with you. So we need to send you abroad and so that you have that international experience. So either you will stay at ESCA. Uh, so the first semester with the international classes and then afterwards go in our 279 uh, academic partners abroad 
So we cover up broadly more than 55 countries throughout the world. So there's a definite experience and taste of what it is to, to go abroad. And finally, and that's the third year you're going to spend with us, it's your specialization. Now, either you're going to specialize uh, uh, on marketing communication, either uh, international business development or entrepreneurship. Mm. This is where you'll be headed to in these three years. Uh, Joja, you were just talking about the different accreditations. Can you explain and tell us so what are these uh, accreditations? Yes, of course, because we are very, very proud of these accreditations. As I mentioned, uh, ESCA is a triple crown school, French business school. Uh, we have the three most prestigious international um, accreditations, the AACSB, which has been awarded by AACSB International, the U.S. based US-based global leader for higher business education. We also uh, have the ACRIS accreditation, which was awarded by uh, EFMD, Europe's premium accreditation body. And we also have AMBA accreditation, which has been awarded by a London-based accreditation body, uh, which assesses institutions which um, uh, deliver master level programs. Um, all of um, these um, accreditation bodies look at several dimensions of the performance of the schools. Uh, for example, the um, excellence of the faculty, the quality of the researches our faculty members uh, conduct, um, the um, uh, the, uh, the, the programs, the quality and delivery of the program, the international dimensions of our pedagogy, also uh, the, uh, the the links, the strong and uh, and uh, important links with the corporate world. Um, so they do take many many different um, aspects into consideration when they make a decision on which schools uh, will be awarded uh, by these um, accreditations. So we are very proud because it shows that these. Um, prestigious uh, accreditation bodies appreciate what we do and how we do that. Uh, but these accreditations always, also represent an opportunity for, for us and for other schools who are awarded uh, uh, for, for further and for continuous improvement. And uh, Alexon, in which uh, languages uh, is the bachelor taught? Now we have two languages, French and English. Now, these two languages are available on our Paris campus, Lyon, uh, but also in Angers and Budapest with uh, Ms. Deligre, uh, who's the director uh, in, in, in the Budapest campus. We're now going to talk uh, with uh, the different students, the two students that we have. Uh, let's begin with you, Luca. Can you introduce yourself in a few words? Tell us where you're from and why you decided to choose the Bachelor in Management at ESCA. Uh, of course. So I'm currently a second year student at ESCA Paris. Um, I'm from Norway. Um, and when I decided that I wanted to study abroad um, and I did some research, um, it was easy to, to choose ESCA because I saw uh, all of the accreditations they uh, currently hold. Um, the fact that they have such a practice oriented uh, learning approach uh which makes the the classes more interesting and uh, more realistic because we work with uh, uh, real life uh, situations um and then finally the multicultural environment um when i started at esca uh, i found myself in classes with lots of other international students uh, which made it easier to integrate the school and uh, it was um, just a pleasure to uh, get to know uh, so many people. Did you have uh, some hesitation between uh, studying in France and studying in other European countries, for instance? Um, yes, of course, I had some hesitation. Um, uh, I was I was thinking of uh, doing my studies uh, in England, um, but I've always wanted to, to live in France and especially learn the French language. Um, so, that's the main reason why I choose France and also because they have such high quality schools, business schools especially, uh, was uh, an important factor for choosing France. And uh, you, Fanny, as I was mentioning earlier, you're studying uh, in Budapest. Why did you choose ESCA and uh, why did you choose to study at uh, Budapest? 
Yes, hello. So I'm also a second year student. I am from the Budapest campus originally, although currently I'm spending my international semester in Paris. Uh, I chose ESCA uh, similarly also because of the international environment. And it was very important for me to have small classes. So the class size at ESCA is very ideal with about being 15 to 20 students. I didn't want to get lost in a large uh, school. So that was one of the reasons and also to improve my French was very important for me because I've been studying it uh, previously. If you are joining us, thanks a lot to be there today. Uh, we are talking about the Bachelor in Ma International Management in Budapest and in France from ESCA. And we are now going to talk about the program. Um, Joja, maybe uh, can you give us an example um, about um, the, the way the pedagogy is organized um, in the classes? Yes, um, I'm really happy to, to tell you further information about our pedagogy because ESCA has always placed uh, pedagogy and quality learning in the heart of all of its activities. Um, if, uh, if I try to describe uh, our pedagogy, I would definitely have to mention at least three things. The first thing is that uh, uh, we provide our students with a very strong academic content, which is based on the highest academic standards. The second thing is that we have always tried to create or establish a, establish a balance between the strong academic content and between the inclusion of the practical side of, uh, of the businesses. Um, just to let you uh, see how much we do in order to include the practical side into our teaching uh, experience, uh, we do invite many directors, um, managers of organizations um, at our school, so they can uh, give a lecture uh, to our students, they can talk to our students. Uh, we organize many company visits for our students, we propose them several projects, business projects, uh, together with the company directors. Um, and the students have to work on it and elaborate uh, their, their proposals. Um, also, um, we have an incubator at ESCA for those students who, who wish to um, to um, to try their um, their their knowledge, who wish to try to uh, start their entrepreneurship uh, uh, activities. Um, during their studies uh, and we shouldn't forget about the uh, the internships that our students have to complete uh, we have obligatory internships and we also have uh, optional um, internships uh, in the host country and in the home country of our students um, and uh, if uh, if I have already mentioned uh, two characteristics which were uh, very important for me, I shouldn't forget about the third one, that the ESCA School of Management created uh, an Institute of Applied Pedagogy, uh, which, um, which is training all of our professors, all of our lecturers on how to, um, how to do creative ex uh, exercises, how to deliver innovative uh, courses at, uh, at the school. Also, they, uh, they teach all of, the all of the teachers how to uh, be efficient uh, and interesting and creative during online teaching and in blended learning. Uh, so um, we, uh, we not only deliver classes inside of the school, but we learn uh, it's a constant and continuous learning on how to on how to improve further improve the quality of the of the learning and teaching experience and we just said that there are two campuses for the for the bachelor or is it the same program for the both of them or do you have differences between uh, uh, the french campus and the uh, campus in budapest uh, you have to know that we are talking about one school. This is the ESCA School of Management, so it's one school which has eight different campuses. However, our programs are exactly the same because we promise the students that no matter on which campus uh, they uh, follow their studies, they will get exactly the same quality, exactly the same content and, uh, and, um, and um, learning experience. Uh, so um, we propose exactly the same uh, programs at all of our campuses. Um, yes, the same curriculum, the same uh, competences, the same uh, teaching materials. However, I would like to add one 
very important point that uh, when the students come to Budapest, for example, or whenever they go to China, uh, we uh, pay emphasis and pay, we, we, we think it's very, very important that we add a little bit of uh, regional touch to the programs. So um, yes, we, for example, we deliver the same uh, organizational behavior course to the students, but we invite the students to a company where the company director is going to let the students know what regional practices, strategies, tricks they use to, um, to make organizations uh, more efficient and how they improve the ambience inside of the of the companies so i think that uh, this is a, a value-added uh, point in um, in our practice um, and uh, and our students do appreciate it a lot Luca, let's move back a little bit in the past when you arrive uh, at ESCA. what were the different uh, classes uh, that you had uh, uh, in first year of the bachelor um, so the first year of bachelor was composed of a, a variety of, uh, of courses um, to get the basic knowledge uh, in the th three main uh, pillars, which is uh, finance, marketing, and management. So we had we had different types of courses in order to get the basic knowledge of uh, uh, these uh, three courses, um, and it was really interesting because. We got a real life, uh, real, realistic view into the courses because the courses were theoretical, but also put into real life context, which I really enjoyed. Uh, is your favorite class of all the different classes that you already had the opportunity to follow? Um, it's hard to choose one class specifically, but I would have to say uh, financial accounting because it's something that I'm really passionate about. And also because, as I mentioned earlier, um, we had a theory, but we, it was also really uh, a practical approach to it. So we had the different types of case studies and, uh, and uh, company uh, directors coming into the school to, to explain to us the, the different uh, subjects be interesting if uh, you you talk uh, maybe a little bit about uh, projects related to the professional world that you already had the opportunity to to do uh, can you share with mm -hmm. us uh, one example of a project that you that you did during uh, one class um, so for example uh, in entrepreneurship we had uh, uh, one uh, director of a company uh, former ESCA, um, ESCA student uh, which had started a company on his own um, and it was really interesting because he he, he taught us the, um, the the process of starting a company the difficulties uh, uh, that uh, he encountered but also the the benefits and the the enjoyment of starting a business uh, in France and is it possible, Luca, to learn French during the program? Uh, was, what was your French level before arri arriving at uh, ESCA? And uh, what is your French level now? Um, so my French level when I started at ESCA was, uh, I'd say, medium, because I had already studied uh, French uh, in high school. But uh, um, I would say but I, that my French has improved a lot, especially by talking because I'm in a class with all other French students as well. It's not only international students. So by talking to them and learning uh, how they speak, uh, it, would easy, it was easy to, to uh, learn the basic knowledge of the language and uh, how to use it in uh, real life context. Imagine that uh, going out in Paris, uh enjoying uh, the Parisian life, uh, the cultural uh, life, the museum, uh, it helps a lot uh, with the French level. Of course, of course. Uh, also the different activities at school are offered by the associative, uh, uh, associative um, groups has helped a lot because they, they arrange different types of activities in, uh, off campus, uh, which helps you to uh, to discover the city and also the the French culture. What 
kind of activities did you um, ha already have the opportunity to do uh, with the associations? Um, you, uh, well, first of all, uh, they organize different types of uh, after works, uh, after school, where we met up at different bars and uh, uh, enjoyed some drinks. Uh, uh, it was also museums and um, and cultural events, for example, uh, conferences. Uh, so it was a wide spectrum. We're going to talk more about student life in a few minutes, but before that, there is a huge question that you might ask how to get into ESCA, and uh, we will have the, all the answers with you, uh, Alexandre. Uh, first of all, what background do you require to apply at ESCA? Now, what is very important is that you get your secondary school uh, qualification. That's the, the, the starting point. Then after what's important is the B2 level in English. Once you have acquired that, then you have access to the school. Okay, even if you want to study in the French uh, program, you need to have a, a good English level? Of course, because you will be required to go abroad. And so we need all our students, when, especially when, when companies are recruiting our students afterwards for a job, they all know that ESCA students have the same level of English, at least the minimum requirements in English. And afterwards, of course, it varies from, from one student to the next. So then uh, you have all the different requirements. What are the different steps to apply? Now, the first thing, you go online, www.esca.fr. You submit uh, the online application form. You send your transcripts. And at the same time, you provide your motivation letter, uh, as well as going through the uh, admission interview, which will go once your uh, application form and uh, transcripts and your documents will be uh, reviewed, analyzed, and accepted at the school. And how is the motivation at every? How does it look like, look like? Motivation? Yeah. Motivation is quite high. Uh, when you go into a business school, this is what we're looking for. We're not necessarily looking for these students that are extroverted and that, that know how to express themselves, maybe better than some others. No, we're, we're very open-minded uh, on admissions. And th this is what's very important. Uh, when I say open-minded is our policy is not exclusively reserved to these extroverted students that have gone through mathematical specifications or, or expertise uh, throughout their high school. No, we're going to look for personalities. Okay. And, and when you look for personalities, well, we want to support them. And it goes even into the admission interview. We are going to try to find out who you are and not set traps. That's not the objective. We rather want to set out and try to inspire you as much as possible so that you can show us your unique talent and, and maybe all your potential throughout this small moment of interview that we have with you. And, and if we go maybe a little bit further, uh, we want people that have these gener generous mindsets, um, hardworking. This is what we need. We need people that want to get involved also because having a diploma, earning a diploma, this is why we say it's not only paying for a diploma. That's not the case at all. When you come at ESCA, you're going to get involved in the student life, student body, student experience. Uh, you will get involved in the internships as well as with the companies. Uh, maybe you will want to be part of the team of ambassadors and promoting your own school. Afterwards, we have two brilliant students that are here, uh, Luca and Fanny, that are talking with you to talk about their school experience. And so we're looking for involvement into that. And finally, well, we have a longer view, maybe uh, maybe a longer perspective than you on this, but we want you to be able to create your own future, to create your own perspective on, on your career. And this, well, we need maybe a little bit of imagination, a tiny ipsy bit of ambition, of course, to go to that. And finally, to try and, and, and make that positive difference, because this is what we do at ESCO. We create a future, but also trying to, to change what we call the ethically minded students to have ethically minded companies afterwards. And what is the calendar for the application procedure? Now, uh, calendar is very important. Uh, September 2022 is when we have our intake. But the intake doesn't mean admissions. Admissions is at the end of June. So be careful, end of June. Uh, you need to have sent all your documents and paper. And they can uh, already begin if they want to, uh, to, to start the uh, admission process? Of course, of course. They can start right now. Okay, so maybe we have uh, people watching us today and starting to complete all the different uh, documents. Um, Joja, I'm going back uh, to you uh, about um, yeah, a, a key point. Uh, it's 
how to finance uh, the school. Uh, so do you propose scholarship or financial aid and how uh, can the students apply to them? Yes, we do propose scholarships. Uh, and if we have already talked about talents, uh, we have to emphasize that uh, our school uh, tries to recognize and to uh, help talented youngsters by proposing them partial scholarships. We have a vast range of uh, partial scholarships uh, that uh, our international students can uh, benefit from. Um, so um, there are some scholarships that the students have to apply for when they apply for the program, but uh, there are others, uh, other scholarships that the students can apply for uh, when they have already uh, spent some months, uh, some semesters and some years at this camp. And once admitted, uh, we know that it's not the end of all the uh, procedure because you have all the different documents, all the papers to do uh, to come to France, the visa procedure, etc. How do you help the international students with all these administra administrative steps uh, before they arrive uh, on campus? Oh, I think uh, this question is very, very nicely elaborated, Eska. I would love to be a student, at, an international student at Eska, because really, when I uh, when this, the international students arrive at Eska, everything is ready for them. So um, we have an international desk where my um, my very kind colleagues are waiting for the students' requests and uh, and questions, uh, and we do encourage our students to um, to start the applications, as my colleague said, uh, as quickly as possible in order. Order to make sure that all of their papers are ready uh, by the time of the uh, start of the program. Also, um, in, uh, we are talking about uh, big towns and uh, capitals, so finding an acc accommodation is not or might not be easy for those who started late. But if um, if you get the application of the students and if they are accepted, uh, our international desk and our colleagues um, start to help them immediately in finding the best location, the best accommodation, the best way to get to France uh, or to Hungary or to, to, to China. Um, so this is um, this international desk is a um, is, is is a service as a central service that we propose to all of our students, no matter at which campus they follow their studies. However, if I come back to Budapest and I talk a little bit about our experiences and our practices. Uh, before the students arrive to Budapest, after their admission, but before they arrive to Budapest, we send them a quite thick uh, document about practical pieces of information about uh, Hungary, about their stay in Hungary, about life in Budapest, uh, about um, all practical questions uh, about their life, uh, and also a lot of information about their studies at ESCA. So um, we, we send them um, uh, information um, before they arrive plus and and I think it's a very important uh, information that uh, we prepared uh, um, I call it a, a white list a backlist and a gray list of uh, of uh, agents who propose flats and accommodation for our students which have been prepared on the basis of our previous students uh, and uh, we share all information with our students. Also, we propose our students that uh, we have a look at the contract they sign with uh, owners of flats uh, uh, in order to see whether all legal uh, sentences are correctly um, uh, placed into the contracts. Um, so this is before they come to Budapest. After they arrived, um, uh, we we welcome them with the help of a welcome team. So it's also possible uh, that uh, students don't have any, any accommodation before they arrive. Uh, our welcome team is waiting for them with, uh, with ready proposals. So they go and visit uh, flats in the neighborhood and uh, they, they help uh, our students um, in finding a flat, in uh, purchasing a, a Hungarian SIM card into their uh, mobile phones. So we go into into details um, of their stay in in, in Hungary, um, and we we are going to continue um, the uh, the immersion by um, by inviting them for several programs. But uh, we are going to come back to this question um, a bit later. Because we've just talked a little bit with uh, Luca about uh, student life, and I think that would be interesting if you um, tell us a little bit the different events organized by the school. Can you give us an uh, example, uh, uh, Joja, of uh, what is done on the, Bulga um, on the Budapest uh, campus? 
Uh, yes, of course. Uh, so um, let's continue what I started earlier. So um, we are at the moment uh, when the students arrive uh, to our campus. So um, of course we uh, we have a welcome day uh, when uh, when we talk uh, to our students about uh, their studies, about their 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 semesters or years at the Budapest campus. Um, and um, right on the day of the welcome day, we uh, we propose them. Uh, either um, a boat tour it, it's dependent on the season of course but uh, in the summer in um, in, in this um, in this period of time it's nice to visit Budapest um, by being on a boat uh, so it's either a boat trip or a walking tour or um, or it can be a bus tour if it's really really cold in the winter uh, season so we, we, we propose them um, a Budapest tour with a guide a professional guide so that they can have a, a nice um, nice picture of Budapest right uh, on the day of their arrival. Um, afterwards, um, while they are at our campus, uh, we do propose them many, many uh, CSR activities. Uh, for example, we are going to plant trees in a week's time. Uh, we got an invitation from um, from an elementary school, and um, which is located in a very very poor part of of Hungary, uh, where students are really have uh, no means to to go abroad to go to even to different uh, towns in, in Hungary and uh, they are in, they, they invited us to um, to go there with our students and to to deliver classes together with the with the teachers so for example our students uh, can accompany us and they can do a physical education class a singing class a cooking class um, with the teachers uh, they can also plant uh, because um, they have a garden um, um, and our students um, are very enthusiastic about uh, about these activities. Or uh, in in a month's time, we are going to um, uh, we are going to uh, establish a kindergarten uh, playground uh, for uh, for an institution where we have handicapped children. Um, apart from the CSR activities, uh, every uh, semester we organize a cooking dinner. It's a gastronomic event and um, uh, it, it, it would uh, necessitate the involvement of all of our students because uh, I'm asking the students to cook their national food or the food they like in their home countries and uh, make us, all other students and uh, staff members, uh, taste it. Uh, so it's part of their culture. It's their gastronomic culture, which uh, is, which I think it's very important when students try to express themselves and demonstrate their own cultures. Also, we organize them many excursions. Uh, our team members accompany the students, so we walk together, we hike together, uh, and uh, and we shouldn't forget about the professional club events. Uh, our Budapest campus uh, has a a professional club which meets once a month and we invite experts of uh, well-defined subjects or professional questions uh, who deliver a speech uh, to not only to our students but we invite the partner partner institution and in institutions and partner people of of our school so it's an open event uh, where 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 the whether the expert is um, is explaining uh, a given subject, students and uh, and participants can ask questions. So by the end of the uh, the professional club event, there is a, a debate and uh, a very live discussion among the participants on on the given topic. So I would say that uh, we have a very uh, very nice life at the Budapest campus. We do we. We always do something. The students are, uh, are constantly and continuously involved in many, many activities, and uh, and I'm pretty sure that they do appreciate it because uh, because we welcome students from approximately 30 different countries at the same time. So these are the the the, the very best moments when they can share uh, the the non-professional side of their interests with uh, with their classmates. Thanks a lot for all, all this complete uh, information regarding the student life and thanks a lot for having been with us because I know that you have some uh, duties so you have uh, to leave us. Thanks a lot uh, Joja for having been uh, with us today. We are moving back uh, uh, to admission uh, with you uh, Fanny. Uh, we just wanted to have a little feedback from an, one of the students. Can you describe a little bit how was your admission process? How did it go for you? Yes, of course. So my admission process, I think it was actually very smooth. 
So as it was mentioned, after submitting all the online documents, I was invited for a personal interview, uh, which was conducted with two staff members at the Budapest campus. And during this interview, we not only talked about my passions, ambitions, background, and goals, but we also discussed current topics that were, um, you know, like news at that time. So, for example, I remember, unfortunately, it was the start of the pandemic era. So we discussed some aspects of that, but also some pleasant topics like the Oscar Gala, uh, of course, always the business aspect and let's say the marketing or financial sides or I had some initial questions of how much I am into business or what would interest me about those topics. So it was a very, I would rather say, friendly discussion and didn't feel so serious and was mostly conducted without any stress. And what would be your advice uh, to have a good and a successful admission process uh, regarding, for instance, the motivation later? Uh, what would you uh, um, advise uh, the, 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 the viewer to do to have a successful admission process? Um, my advice would be to express yourself freely. Like there is no need to make yourself seem 20 times better or portray someone that you are not. So just be yourself and freely talk about what you like, what your passions are, what you would like to achieve, because it's both going to help you realize if you, if you like this path or, or just freely express what you would like, uh, either from the school, academic-wise, personally. And I think that would help a lot. Just talk uh, a lot uh, with uh, Joja about student life, student experience. What would you uh, say to complete, maybe uh, to have a, a perspective on what the student experiment by himself uh, on campus? Most definitely. Um, very important question, especially when you're from another country and you're going into a school that you don't necessarily know. Uh, and, and one element that I would strongly recommend before you, you, you do anything in terms of application. Our teams are there have a call get to know our administrative staff go and call the budapest campus go and call our campuses in paris in lyon in aix-en-provence go in bordeaux and angers ask our teams uh, all the questions that could come about and 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 that um maybe you are uncomfortable with and we'll try to make you as comfortable as possible with it now it's the same thing for student experience Uh, life experience as a student, I would definitely say uh, with a school that has more than 6,000 students, so that's something quite impressive too, more than 50 clubs uh, that we have. We talk about more than 30 nationalities that are all in one school. It's a very, very pleasant and international environment. And what we're doing is creating an international learning life student experience on all of our campuses. That's one of our priorities. Now. All of the time you're going to be present in one association and another one, you have to know that everything's connected. Your academic life gives you tools to use in associations or clubs, that we call them, so that you can put the benefits of all your hard work and your studies into practical uh, activities. Uh, more fun than others, some of them that are very socially oriented to try and help uh, either companies, associations, uh, or even other students to get integrated within the student's uh, body. And make sure at the same time that you have a pleasant moment, whether it's during uh, schooling, so during your academic life, during afterwards the after Uh, after academic life, and as well as all your internships and, and experiences abroad. Mm. Uh, Luca, did you have some fears before joining the school? Because we know that when we are leaving a country, when we are leaving the family, when we are arriving in a new school, that can be a little bit frightening. So did you have some fears before joining the school? And how did it finally go? How did you overcome them? Um, yes, of course, I had some doubts before uh, coming to France uh, because, first of all, I I didn't have any friends. Uh, I didn't have any connections in France. Um, but I I was more of the mentality, just go for it and 
and try and let's see how it how it goes and uh, it finally it, it was uh, it was great because it was so easy to to get into contact with other students and uh, uh, the teachers and uh, the administrative staff are so welcoming uh, when you arrive at school so it made it easy to uh, to for me to to do that change really and how is your life now as a student uh, at ESCA? How would you describe them? What is like a typical week for you? Um, so now I'm quite settled in France and in, especially in Paris. Um, and my, and my, um, my weeks are quite uh, diverse, I would say. Uh, I have lots of classes uh, during the week, uh, but I have also time for associative work. Uh, or uh, other activities of school, but uh, but of course um, the school program takes a lot of time. So I am fully determined on the using my time as first of all first of all on school and then secondly on other activities. And there is an important point uh, when you're uh, conducting your studies, when you're studying in the professional world, because uh, you are not a student just to stay student all your entire life. You're a student to find a job and to find opportunities. And the first opportunity that you can have as a student is uh, the internship and the different internships. So, uh, Alexandre, how does it work uh, at uh, ESCA? Uh, is it possible to do an internship during the program? And how do you help uh, your student to find good opportunities? Now, so many questions <laughs> in into, one, yeah. <laughs> into one statement, but uh, to, to go very, 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 very step by step, um, I would say that you are going into a business school. You are going to a business school to have the promise of having a decent job and eventually a job you like and even that you love. So that's the first step into, of course, finance, marketing, and management at ESCA. So what are you going to try and do throughout your schoolings to get internships that are adequate or in adequation with your likes and what you thrive for every day. So for example, so if some people it's numbers, for, for, for other students it'll be uh, communication, adverts, uh, or all that marketing segment, it will vary. So we will try and we will definitely do step by step to bring you to that third year and get you the competencies you need and the experience you need to make sure that you have access to the job market with the right tools. Now, how do we do that? Which, which is one of the important questions too. Whether it's workshops, job days, uh, individualized support, and that's something that's very important at ESCA is that we have individual students, not promos, not groups. We have individuals first. And we try to take all these assets and put them forward through your CVs, your cover letters that you're going to, to bring to, to, to the companies when you're going to try to defend yourself uh, to an interview. We give you the tools so that you show your full potential to these companies. Now, of course, we have online platforms too, such as CQ, we have the Illumini, we have corporate relations uh, representatives on each of our campuses, teams uh, on the bigger ones. Uh, what we're going to look for in any case on your side, because we will do our part of the job. You can count on us for that. The school will be there and you will have access to the job market with the right tools. One thing you must know is that you need commitment. You need to be invested. You need to be responsive. When we ask you, when a company asks you or tells you, we want to see you at the interview, you need to be there and you need to be ready because being there, of course, is easy. Trying to be there prepared, this is what we're here for to help you. And finally, consistency. First year, second year, and third year, show your commitment and be serious and very, very, very responsive. I can't be more or focusing more on responsiveness because this is what companies knows us for. Now, they know us for the quality of our, of our education, the expertise we're bringing every time, but also responsiveness and consistency of our students. Maybe, Luca, you can describe a little bit the um, internship that you already had the opportunity to do uh, in the Bay Show. Mm. Yes, of course. Uh, so um, I was lucky to um, have a, to get the opportunity to have an internship through the, um, uh, the forum that we had uh, arranged uh, by ESCA, where they presented the, 
numerous uh, companies uh, presenting different uh, offers and uh, where we conducted different interviews and uh, I was lucky to to get an internship uh, as a, uh, working as a, with a business development um, and it was something that I really enjoyed and uh, um, it is actually something that I um, I might or uh, I'm not sure but I, I it is a possibility that I want to do that as a form of specialization for my master degree. Um, but it was uh, basically, um, uh, it uh, was an export uh, of Norwegian goods to France. Uh, so we, it was uh, really a sector that I, um, I thought, I think is really interesting and, and it is something that I, um, I might want to work in uh, in the future. And you, Fanny, can you describe maybe uh, the internship that you had the opportunity to do and how um, did the school help you uh, to find this opportunity? Um, I was very lucky because uh, actually I found the internship through the help of some of the staff members of ESCA and it was an internship for eight weeks. Uh, I worked at a PR and marketing company in Hungary, which gave me great experience, hands-on work. I had the opportunity to work with specific clients and see how the business world works uh, in person. Um, and also it turned out to be so great that I stayed at the company. And ever since I have the opportunity that besides school, I can still practice the knowledge that I learned. Um, Alexandre, um, what are the opportunities for the student after graduating? They can, I imagine, keep on studying, they can begin to work. What can they do concretely after uh, graduating? Now, the, the, the super opportunity that our students have is, fortunately, they're in a triple crown accredited school. They're uh, in the top 20, uh, even top five for the bachelor's uh, program in France. Uh, in terms of ranking, we're very highly ranked. So our students get access to also the best schools, either at ESCA, if they decide to continue, which is the case for more than 80% of our students, they decide to stay at ESCA or, or, or above, but continue in master's program, either at ESCA or in others. In schools that are as highly ranked at ESCA or even better ranked than them. So. In terms of academic perspectives, whether it's in France or abroad, they have access to these universities or business schools in France or abroad. Then another perspective, because it was originally the aim of bachelor's program, it was to directly go on to the job market. And then they have access to middle management jobs, which are definitely uh, uh, very appreciated by them. And they will go to higher ranked job afterwards through experience rather than through academia. And this just depends on the profiles of our students. But perspectives are very broad. And what would be your advice for the students of future students watching us today? Say yes. Say yes every time you have an opportunity. Say yes when we say, do you want to get involved? We have a conference. We have, uh, we have the vice presidents, uh, the vice president of Mars, uh, France, who came on the Aix-en-Provence campus, for example. Say yes, go and say hello to him. Maybe you'll get an opportunity afterwards in terms of internship or even a job. Uh, on all of our campuses, we have opportunities that are present, either through our clubs, either through uh, our corporate relations or uh, simply in academia. Mm. Say yes, get involved, be yourself. You have this opportunity that is presented in front of you. Don't use this when you have this that's available for you. And finally, to conclude, uh, for you, what makes ESCA different from other schools? ESCA. <laughs> It's the old and the new. It's the history, the modernity, 1909, 112 years of existence. Uh, there's so much to see in terms of a heavily grounded culture such as ESCA uh, that is focused and centered on, on its students, trying to get the best out of them, out of their potential, but also into trying to provide them every day a follow up that is comparing to, 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 to other school is it, it would be unique experience.
coming at ESCA. Why? Because our number of students is quite limited among our campuses and we have full support, whether it's for troubles that you have in a specific class or trying to find a job or trying to get on the job market or trying to find and go to another school afterwards to finish your studies or your master's program. Uh, unique experience, motivating and very engaged in terms of uh, both students and the school. Thanks a lot for all this uh, information, uh, Alexandre, Luca, Fanny, and Joja. And thanks to you for having uh, watched us. If you still have questions about uh, ESCA, or if you want to begin uh, the admission process, don't hesitate to visit uh, the website. It's www.esca.fr. You do it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to leave you with a little video to show and to see more about uh, ESCA. See you soon on Campus France Live.